Hi, it's Dawn, Piggy Mama 16, and today I have an update on what's going on with the piggies and with us. Uh, both my husband and I had surgery, so I haven't been able to really record any videos. It was a lot of struggle. He had surgery, I had surgery. Mine was shoulder surgery, so it was very difficult to do anything when you lose your shoulder. But here's an update on the piggies, as you can see. They're enjoying their veggies. I give them radicchio, green pepper, and carrots at night. <clears throat> Sorry. And we had a little bit of an incident with them. The other day, I was cutting their nails, and I noticed on Lexi that she had all of this white stuff coming from her fur. So I, you know, she was stressed out over that, and she was literally covered from head to toe in this white dandruff. And I checked her out, and it's not really normal for pigs to have dandruff like that, and I have a lot of experience. So I came to the conclusion that she probably ha got stressed and has mites. These girls when it didn't come from a pet store, technically. They came from a family or a breeder. So I, we figured that we would get past the mange mites. So I put in a call to the vet on last Saturday. She never got back to me. Nobody called me back. And that's the only vet in this area that's qualified to take to treat pigs. It was really frustrating, but I knew from my own experience that there were two solutions to give the pigs for mange mites. One is revolution for kittens and puppies. And the other thing that we've used in the past on our previous pigs was ivermectin for cattle, the pour on version. And let me show you what I did because I had no choice but to use this. And I have a lot of experience. I don't recommend this for anybody who doesn't have any experience. If you see this on your pigs, just, just a warning, if you see this on your pigs, I'll just show the ivermectin and then I'll go back to the caveats. Okay, so I had to go. I went to a store called Tractor Supply in my area. Now this is the box, Ivermectin. And it's a big bottle of Ivermectin. Let me take it out. <clears throat> As you can see, let me turn it around. Let's see, it's a big bottle of, on focus, Ivermectin, pour on for cattle. It's the five milligram Ivermectin per milliliter. <clears throat> this bottle is 250 mils, which is about 8.5 fluid ounces. So it's a huge bottle. The dosage on adult pigs is one drop behind each ear. And if they're older, you can do a, another drop on their back. That one, I, just, I touched it lightly. So I have an old, oh, let me see. This is an old vitamin C serum. I don't have any more of it. I dumped it out. I couldn't stand it on my own face. So I use this dropper. Let me get, take the dropper out. Okay, that's the dropper. You can see there, literally on that end. Come on, focus. It's not going to focus. Let me move it away. Maybe there it is. Literally a tiny, tiny little drop behind each ear. Now, my piggies have some white on them. Let me see if Lexi has it. No, she's not so bad, but I did it to Bella and the behind her ear turned blue. Rosie was okay. Now this is a treatment, you do that. One drop behind each ear and one drop on the back. And then 10 days later, you have to repeat the treatment. So I gave them this on Tuesday. Today is Friday, March 10th. I gave it to them on Tuesday, and I'll give it to them again next Friday. And that should be running the course, but they have not been, <clears throat> sorry, have uh, some allergies too, but they haven't been scratching anywhere near as much, so I pretty much knew that I did the right thing by dosing them. And they seem to be much happier. They're not scratching. Lexi had the worst, then Bella, and Rosie really didn't have too much on her. And if you have your piggies living together and only one has 
mites, you have to dose all three. It's an absolute must, 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 because you don't know if the other ones have it or not. And to play it safe, it's a good idea. Now, I would never recommend this method on babies under six months of age. That one you really, really need to get to the vet and get revolution unless you have experience doing this. That is the key. That is my caveat. If you don't have experience with pigs and know what it is, I would not recommend doing this. It's just, I would not play around with it. But I had experience over 14 years ago, actually. We had another pig, and she was covered in mites. And this was the treatment back then that the vet gave her, was ivermectin. And we went to the vet, and we had to get the tubes, and she gave it to us. It was the same vet. That didn't call me back, which is really surprising because she's usually very good with calling back. So I'm surprised. She probably did not get the message or she's so busy that she just doesn't have the time to call me back. But so that's an update of what's going on with the piggies. I will be back to shooting, filming some videos on a regular basis. My arm is recovering. My shoulder is recovering. My husband's recovered. We wouldn't be happy family. And you can see I have my St. Patrick's Day stuff up already. <clears throat> really cute. I love those owls. Those are my favorites. But, oh, uh, hi, Bella. Aw. Rosie and my little Lexi. So the happy piggies. And see the front with the decorations. I love this little guy, little leprechaun. So cute. But anyway, so there's a... An update, not a quick update, but an update. These guys are doing really, really well, and I sort of delayed doing the cage expansion because of all the surgeries, but I am working on that to get their little cage expanded because they're now they're getting to be like big girls. Except for Rosie, she's still my little runt. She's so tiny. Tiny, tiny little girl. They're still smaller than other pigs that we've had. Oh, look at that. You enjoying that, Lexi? Oh, okay. So everyone take care, and I will see you again later. Bye-bye.